Hi, everybody. This is Arlinda, and this is a Thankful Thursday. I get so excited about Thankful Thursdays. If you follow me on Instagram, on Thursdays, I'm generally posting about gratitude. Have not posted yet today because part of this presentation will be my post on Instagram today. But gratitude has become really huge for me. When I started studying mindfulness about three years ago, I learned a lot about gratitude. And granted, you know, we know to be thankful and we know um, to say thank you and all those things. But the practice of gratitude on a daily basis didn't become a thing for me until I started um, studying mindfulness. And so I just wanted to share just a small webinar with you today about practicing gratitude. So gratitude, according to the Webster definition, is the state of being grateful. And, you know, when you think about gratitude, you know, you there's so many things you can think about. If you look at this slide here, you know, you think about peace, you think about abundance and faith and kindness. And kindness is so important and growth and change. And, you know, there's so much to be thankful for. I think sometimes when people talk about, well, what are you thankful for? You Sometimes people think like you gotta get super deep and you gotta get super like, super spiritual. Like well, I'm thankful for, it could be something as simple as um, I am thankful for a bottle of water, you know, because I needed it after I worked out the day. Um, of course, when you wake up in the morning, you know, you thank him for another day. And so there's so many things to be grateful for. There is a video on YouTube and it's entitled Three Good Things. One of my practices for, for gratitude is every day I write out three things that I'm grateful for. And it's become like a habit over the past two or three years, just to sit out and write three things that I'm grateful for. As a matter of fact, I've already written it out today. So here's my gratitude journal that I created, my daily gratitude. So today I wrote three things I'm grateful for. I'm grateful for Facebook Live. I'm grateful for warm showers and I'm grateful for extreme hip hop. So I already got my workout in for the day and I am grateful for my bottle of water because I needed that after I finished working out today. So I would encourage you, you know, even like in the comment section or in your notes on your phone, you know, write out what three things are you grateful for today? There are some benefits of practicing gratitude. Um, it helps you to see good, you know, if you look at 2020 and then you look at 2020 part two, which it feels like it's been like a whole lot of dark moments, but you have to find like goodness in those moments. You have to be able to say, well, okay, some things are bad, but you know what else y'all, some things are good it lowers your stress level. It helps you have like a woo moment. Like, okay, everything ain't bad. Everything may look bad, but everything is not bad. And it helps you to see what you already have. You know, so many times like, oh, you want that next thing. You want, you want to go shopping. You want to get on Amazon. You want all these things. But you know what? If you look around your home, you already have a lot. You already have abundance. I know for me, I don't need another black top, dress, pair of pants. I probably don't need, um, well, according to my closet, I really don't need to shop right now because there is an abundance in there. And there are things that I do want. I mean, and that's natural, but sometimes just kind of look at what you have and say, I have a lot, you know, and, and don't get discouraged if there are some things that you want that you can't get because you already have everything that you need in reality. Practice gratitude daily, not weekly, not monthly, not quarterly, but practice gratitude daily. There are so many amazing benefits. So when should you practice gratitude? When you wake up is a good time because you wake up and it's like, 
I'm still here. Thank you, God. Uh, you can practice gratitude before you go to bed at night. Sometimes I write in my gratitude journal before I go to bed. And it's good to kind of write out before I go to sleep, like, oh, today I did this. And today I experienced this. And today I felt this way. And to sleep with that knowing of gratitude, it kind of like if you were under stress or you was having a bad day, it kind of helps to kind of bring that down. And even um, when you are practicing gratitude before you go to bed, I mean, you can have some chamomile or some lavender tea. You can diffuse some essential oils. I mean, you can make this like a whole moment. Get your Bible out, read your Bible app. Um, there are so many things that you can do to practice gratitude and set up these moments of calmness and peace and serenity and to help you you know, get ready for your next day. Imagine going to bed and having all these wonderful thoughts. And then in, when you get up the next morning, you're like, okay, I can handle this. Practice all the time. Everywhere you look, there's something to be grateful for. I know today is snow and ice outside. I love the way the sun reflects on the snow and it comes through the house. Like, oh, this is so pretty. It's like we skiing somewhere. No, we're not skiing nowhere. It's so pretty. Or you think about, oh, it's really cold outside, but I'm thankful for my home and for heat. You know, and so you think about those kind of things like practice gratitude all of the time. Always find if you know, I will say at minimum, find three good things. But listen, you can find more than that on a daily basis. You know, First Thessalonians tells us, give thanks in all things. And I know my pastor sometimes likes to say all in Hebrew means all. You know, you have to give him thanks for the good things and the bad things. And what I've learned that even when things don't work, they really are working, like all equal all equals the good and the bad, right? But you know, when we thank him for the bad things, you know, like, Lord, that didn't work out for me, but I thank you for the experience. Um, that relationship didn't work out for me, but I thank you for those moments for me to see some things about myself. And even when things don't work, listen, y'all, they still work because what Romans 8 and 28 tells us that all things work together for good. And so, Give thanks in all things, even if those things didn't work out the way that you saw them. My pastor likes to say, you know, if you can't thank God for this, thank him for that. You know, I can't, you know, I can be upset and be like, oh, I ain't gonna thank you for this. And then there's a part of me to say, but there's something that I can thank you for. And so, hey, y'all, listen, I have been, and I've been real transparent about my journey. You know, I've been a single mom, I've been married, I've been divorced, I've been in some bad relationships, you know, I've, I've been through some stuff, but I can tell you now when I look back, I can thank him for the marriage didn't work, but boy, do I have beautiful sons, you know, you know, the relationships didn't work, but boy, do I know who not to pick the next time, <laughs> so if you can't thank God for this, thank him for that. Psalm 107 and 1 tells us, give thanks to the Lord for he is good and his love, you know, I'm, I'm King James, his mercy endures forever. And so give thanks to God, you know, for he is good. And I think it's Jonathan McReynolds that tells us that, you know, he's better than good. You know, he does so many amazing things. He supplies the needs, he's protecting, you know, he's keeping our family safe. And even for those of us who have been, you know, severely impacted by COVID, like he, he's put hedge fence of protection around people. We've seen our friends healed and we've seen our friends just kind of go through. And so, you know, we got to give thanks to God for he is good. And parents, even in the remote learning I know it's hard and look, I have a degree in education and I'm up here just like, what, Google Meet, Pear Deck, um, Flipgrid, I'm like, wait a minute. But I give thanks to the Lord because I'm able to assist my child in the best way that I can. And if I can't assist him, I'm calling a friend 
And if a friend can't help, I'm going to Google, I'm going to YouTube. And so I thank God, you know, because he is good enough to allow me, one, to be home with my son, and two, he's allowed me to be able to help other families who are going through remote learning. So, you know, God is good, y'all. We say all the time and all the time, God is good. So I think it was um, when I started teaching uh, mindfulness at the STEP program, we had an assignment and it was actually a three, two, one assignment. And it was to write out three things that you're grateful for and two things that you plan to do tomorrow, you know, kind of giving some, some pre things like that. I have something to do tomorrow. And then one thing that warmed my heart. And so what I did last year was I created my daily gratitude journal and that can be purchased at lindarinsights.com backslash shop. And it's really, it's really pretty. I had it actually printed here in Cincinnati, well, in Norwood. And it's so pretty. What I love about this, this is also for sale on Amazon. The ones that I have at home, they have these pretty pink, pinkish, lavender-ish color pages. And it's so pretty and it's so peaceful. And I absolutely love it. And I got to shout out my childhood friends who... And I'm so thankful because we've been friends since the seventh grade. Yes, we have. So she dropped a book last year and it's called the Get Rich Quick Journal because Stephanie likes to let us know that you are already rich and you can purchase this on Amazon. What I love about this book is, and when I talked about earlier, how we oftentimes like kind of get lost in what we have this book directs you to write out what you already have. Like, what are you already thankful for? And so you can purchase this on Amazon. It's super pretty too. This blue on the screen does it no justice. It is absolutely beautiful. Um, an activity that you can do for yourself, you can um, instill this for your family. You can do this in your classroom when students come back is to um, create a gratitude jar. And so all you need, you need some post-it notes, um, some writing utensils and a jar with a top. And so you can write out either every day things that you're grateful for and put them in a jar. And then even with the books, this is really cool. So on a bad day, when you're having a rough day, you can go in the jar and then you can read things that you have been grateful for, or you can go in your journals and you can flip through days and look at things that you've been grateful for, things that warm your heart, things that you already have. Or also with the gratitude jar, you can go um, and look at like webster.com and look up synonyms for gratitude and like write them all out on separate pieces of, of note, uh, post-it notes and put them in a jar and Every day, pull one out and say, today, I'm grateful. Today, I have gratitude, you know, and put those in a jar. And these will make like cute gifts to give somebody who might be going through. Um, if you're really creative, you know, you can decorate the jar. And there's so many things that you can do. I find that, and I remember one day I was having like a really rough day. And it was really rough because sometimes my emotions, I get so emotional every time, but that's like a whole nother thing. And <laughs> I love Whitney, but one day I was having a rough day and God was like, no, wait, Arlinda, you're not going to be up here reading a Bible app, writing your gratitude journal, practicing mindfulness and meditating. And then it's going to be like, oh, I'm having a bad day. I don't know what to do. So you go get that book. And you look through the days that you had really good days. And you look at all the things that you have to be grateful for. So I encourage you in some form, practice gratitude daily. Um, let's say you're on Instagram or even on um, Facebook. Hashtags are so important. And if you need some uh, encouragement and in, in you're on social media, go to these hashtags and all things give thanks. Hashtag gratitude, hashtag thankful Thursday. And just kind of read through the post and See, find something that resonates with you to help you get through your day. And, you know, with the save post options, create you a gratitude 
save post area where you just have gratitude posts that you can go to on days, well, every day, you know, just kind of scroll, you know, time out for mindless scrolling. You know, we got to scroll on purpose. <laughs> So thank you for joining me. I hope that um, I hope that you learned something. I hope that something resonated with you. I hope that you're having a wonderful Thursday. I hope that you're thankful, that you're grateful. You know, God is so awesome. He's so amazing. And I really appreciate all of the love and support for everything that I do. You can follow me on Instagram, Lindar Insights. I'm also on Facebook at Lindar Insights. And you can, I'm also on Instagram at Lindar Insights Publishing. And so again, I thank you. Have a wonderful Thursday. Um, for other self-care articles, you can go to my website, our Linda Christine Ministries, where there's a page entitled self-care for the saints because saints listen now if we're not well we can't help others get well too and all things give thanks have a wonderful day be blessed y'all